Hi everyone, James here. It is October the 1st. Definitely looks like October the 1st out there, it's hammering down with rain. Um, we join me at the farm, uh, well, one of the farms, with these guys. And these guys are, uh, these are kind of next up. These ones are nearly ready for slaughter. Um, but I am doing this video because it's October the 1st, which is the beginning of October and it's the beginning of Goatober. Uh, unfortunately this year, much like last year, we don't feel like we can impose ourselves upon the very generous chefs and uh, restaurants that have supported us in the past. So we're not going to do a huge amount for this, this year's Gotober. Um, oh, I think I, I think I scared him a bit. Not surprising really. Um, <laughs> for Gotober this year but there are some of our customers and some of our friends that will still be doing it and there is still a real international flavour to Gotober now there's an official Gotober Austria to join uh, Gotober um, Trinidad and Tobago there's still events in Spain events in France some events in Australia and obviously some events in the US everyone given the new circumstances is pairing it back a little bit the exciting thing is that we are already making plans for 2022 so hopefully once all this disruption to our lives is over, we'll be able to take Gotober back out to the public, to you guys, take it on the road, do some events, talk about why we do what we do and why it's much better to be eating these things than it is to be uh, knocking them on the head and throwing them in the bin. So a subdued Gotober for us. Um, if you have never tried goat meat, I can't imagine why you'd be watching this video if you haven't, but if you haven't, the New Meat Project is doing a pop-up box this month, which has uh, in three different sizes with a range of cuts and five recipes written by myself that will suit those cuts. So if you fancy trying some kid goat for the first time, which would have come from this farm here, uh, head over to the New Meat Project and, uh, and get yourself a box or it'll be available from Cabrito as normal. So these triplets were just born probably 45 minutes ago. Um, it's really important that the kids get the colostrum, which is like the super milk that the mum produces in the first sort of, uh, the first lactation, just before uh, the kids are born. And it's really important that it gets into the kids. So instead of, instead of taking the chance that they take it naturally, what's happening is they're milking it out, putting it in a bottle, and then they'll just tube it straight into the kids. And it's like, a it's like the scene in Pulp Fiction where they stick the adrenaline in the heart of in the thermon. That's basically what the colostrum does to the kids. So this one here, look, where is he there? He looks a bit tired and shagged out. Once he's had the colostrum, poof, like Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction. So that was exciting. I wasn't expecting to see any kidding. Uh, normally the kidding is done this year. These are the stragglers. And that's why it was so unusual to see those triplets. Normally the triplets are the, the first lot. Um, and also interesting to see that colostrum and learn about that. Um, so although I said Cabrito isn't doing any events for Goatober, that doesn't mean I'm not doing any events for Goatober. I'm doing one massive event and that is running the Amsterdam Marathon on October the 17th. I'm running it in aid of Farm Africa to help support their sustainable farming projects in East Africa, specifically the goat projects, which have been a massive success, um, not only in doing all the things that you think they would do in terms of child mortality and increased nutrition, but also has been massively empowering for women, giving them a, a role in society they didn't have before. So I will include the link to my Just Giving page in the newsletter, and it's also always in my Instagram uh, feed. So please give me some money. I'm at about... 